In this video, we'll see an example of if condition. That's a basic simple if condition. Okay. For example, if I have written here as marks as 50 and I want the result as pass or fail or whatever it is. So I'll just take an example. That's a simple thing is if the marks are greater than 35, I want the answer as pass. That's it. Okay. So let us see that. Now I'll go to this developer tab. I've already written a code there in the macros. Visual basic. That's a VBA editor. If I scroll down, if you see that's a H module, if else statement, and that's the code or macro which is written. I'll just close this so I'll get maximum space to see that. Now, sub procedure, the name of the procedure is if underscore test one. If range a2 dot value is greater than 35, that means a2 dot value is greater than 35, which is actually correct here, then range c2 dot value equal to pass that means range c2 that's a value c2 it should display the value as pass okay so let's see whether it's working properly or not this value is definitely greater than 35 so i'm expecting the answer as pass over here so i'll just keep my cursor here if you want to execute step by step all these statements you can just use this shortcut as step into or f8 so i'll just click on this f8 or step into Again, I'll click on this place. So now it is checking the condition range a2 dot value greater than 35, which is correct. So if it is correct, it will come to this place. That means it will paste the value as pass into this place itself, right? So I hope it's able to, you're able to understand in this and I'll just click on this step into, but this is how it works. This will fail at one particular condition. It has only positive condition. It doesn't have the negative condition. What I mean to say is if this condition is not satisfied, for example, if this value is less than 35, if I say 10, if this value is less than 35, so what should be the answer? It is not yet been displayed. It is not yet been defined. So let us see now if I execute again, if I click on this step into step into again, I'll click on this step into if this setting was not correct. It went to this next place. It didn't go to this right hand side. It came to this place. And if I click on step into, but if you observe the value at this place is still pass. It did not change because we have not defined any condition here. So it is the result of the previous condition. That is this one. That means range uh, C2 dot value equal to pass this is for the previous one. So remember, if you use single if statement, it will give you only for the positive statement. It will not give you the for the negative statement, right? So I hope you're able to understand single if statement. That's all for this video.